We're back in the rainforest, back for another wet shave. Uh, a proudly South African wet shave. We're gonna use one of Master Soap Creations new new creations. It's been uh, launched internationally. Uh, I've only sniffed it. I haven't had the opportunity to use it, so we're gonna do that today. And then I need to do my final farewell shave with um, a wolf blade, the limited edition one. This beauty. This is made of a circular pattern Damascus from Damasteel. Um, it's a limited range steel, um, hence only six of these uh, pattern steel blades is been made by Trevor. So we're going to show you with that. The soap is Louis, uh, a homage to Louis Armstrong, and this was done in collaboration with. Um, uh, shave that and uh, the wet uh, the wet shaving store master soap creations so as with all my um, soaps when I get them I sit down and I send them I haven't got a wonderful nose but it's a process I take as long uh, time as I need sometimes half an hour hour and really sit down and, and see what I, what I can pick up and then I put down my notes. And what I then do is I go and um, look at the, the release notes or the scent profile for this um, scent and then see what's what. So, I haven't used it, this is what the pour looks like. So uh, that to one side. So my notes when I sent it, it is obviously there's vanilla in, but it's got a very earthy, natural um, notes to it. So I said it's earthy. There's a bit of spice in there, and um, maybe a little bit of um, citrus or something, um, something like that. And then. Um, my description for this is a is a, a a sweet base with subtle citrus notes on a powdery pillow. Now I know this is um, a very supposed to be a very strong vetiver, tea tree, um, and cardamom type of base notes but that's how I find it. It's a very earthy but a very very muscular um, so so we're gonna use that. So I can now take away this uh, my glasses. The scent by the way is based on um, Joe Malone's Louis I think. I'm not quite sure but a very subtle, earthy, fresh, fresh scent. That's the only way I can describe it. And then the vanilla um, adds a bit of that um, sweet note to it. So we're going to do a little people's pre-shave, just prep my beard. This is mm, three days. Now, if you want to really see a good um, review of the scent profile and what it's about, go, um, go back to Tobin's throwbacks. Um, he described the scent very, very good. Obviously, these are people that understand scents a lot better than I do. But a very pleasant soap, as you would expect from Fernando at Master Soap Creations, his stuff is really spectacular. 
The Razer is a, uh, obviously a Damas Damascus Razer made by Trevor Wolfson. So it's a wolf blade, it's the Sci-Fi Range Limited Edition. This is number two of six. In my previous video, I got a couple of um, items wrong. So first of all is, Trevor still does the nitrogen quench. So he does that steel plate quench I was referring to. And then after that, they also still do a nitrogen, a nitrogen quench on that blade. So um, that hasn't fallen away. And the other thing I need to correct is he's going to the, uh, the Gems and Watch show in Germany, not in Switzerland. So uh, I just quickly want to make those corrections. And that's in February. So any of you guys out there in Germany that um, Knows of the germ of the German in watch show in I think it's in Munich. Um, he'll be there. Um, he's also taking some of his um, jewelry and accessories with, like those Damascus um, bracelets and pendants. And then he's also collaborating with an artist. I'll put the descriptions and information in, uh, in this video's link. Uh, around the artist and um, hopefully some of the stuff that's going to be available a limited run like um, paintings uh, that's done specifically for the razor on the razor by the artist so Trevor is giving him a clean canvas on scales. He does his signature uh, stuff on there and uh, accommodating with that is going to be a carbon fiber sheet where the artist will do a painting. Um, so that's going to get sold as a set. Um, very, very classy stuff I think coming from him. <coughs> Back to the soap. Very rich, very creamy, as you would expect from Nando soap. Um, it's going to take a lot of water, I can see. And it's going to be super thick and hydrated. Once I've added enough water, and that's going to be um, the base that's going to help my shave perform well. You want your skin always saturated in as much water as you can and that is what the lather does other than provide sickness and a bit of cushion is have that high hydration level so as you can see this stuff is um, very good already but we're going to add some more water to this I know these soaps can take a lot of water And moreover, preparation is half of your shave. So, take your time, get your canvas ready, you know, and then go to work. So, in the, in the previous um, video with this razor, I just want to scoop all this goodness on top of the... Um, Brush, there we go. So in the previous video I indicated that this um, razor is um, very smooth uh, and the sharpness is a personal preference type of thing. Um, I know the, uh, the red, red wolf blades I shaved previously was just as smooth, but it had a, a higher sharpness level for me. So I gave this with permission from Trevor, um, a couple of straps on uh, my cuticle emulsion, just to see if how uh, it's going to perform with the steel 
and if it's going to actually um, have an improvement on on um, on sharpness. Once again. These edges but really smooth. And the key is definitely uh, a fraction up. I mentioned in my video for those interested that a pasted strap with these um, razors for maintenance over the long term is a very um, a good approach in my opinion. The other thing is I've gone and measured up this razor um, on a dense beard. It does feel um, a bit uh, jumpy. And what I mean by that is besides this extremely hollow grind on this razor, and you would also see there's a very tall bevel. So I uh, had this measured and calculated it out. So from spine to edge is 27 millimeters. And this is a seven millimeter steel. Um, so the edge on this, or the bevel angle on this is um, just under 15 degrees, which is quite shallow. Having said that, with this temper and this steel, it's, um, these edges, you know, is not going to suddenly perform very bad as with other steels at that shallow bevel angle you know you get edges that start chipping uh, quite easily having said that um, Trevor originally came to me and asked if I would shave with these razors and if I would give him feedback and my opinion on that. All these razors are unique, they're not all the same, so with this one specifically I said I think my recommendation would be to um, reduce this from 27 millimeter to around 25 millimeter and that would give you with a single layer of tape on this razor uh, about a 17 degree bevel um, and i think that would help a lot and the reason why i mention uh, a shallower bevel angle maintaining these razors if you've got to hang them yourself um, it is a very difficult exercise cumbersome ex not a cumbersome it's just a long uh, uh, a long exercise and you need the, the skill for that so if you if you can reduce these bevels to uh, 17 degrees very good with a single layer, a layer of tape um, uh, uh, um, most of the folks would find that whole lot easier maintaining and honing um, their razors um, uh, when they receive them. It's, it's unfortunately a reality those of us that hone razors would um, like honing our own razors. Um, but your edges are spectacular Trevor and that's why I say shave ready, uh, battery smooth out the box. and can be easily maintained.
with a pasted strap such as um, a diamond or um, a particle emulsion or uh, What else do the guys use? CBN, um, iron oxide. You know, everybody's got the but they um, they like and uh, and uh, use me. I prefer stone edges. So for me with a very thin grind like this and a very very thin um, thin bevel in danger um, is, you know just creates a, um, a filly on my beard also does it um, it starts Jumping a bit. Hence one of the reasons I like the the belly grazers. And the slightly thicker grind, so um, Once again, Trevor is a is an artisan and a, and a professional razor maker. If you've got um, requirements, reach out and speak to the man. If you want something different. Once again, uh, within reason, Trevor, uh, you know, works with Damastil. So that's all the Damascus patterns they've got and the RWL which is essentially the stainless steel. You know, and he, he, he um, has got very interesting shapes and designs. I'm quite sure within his range you'll find something um, quite suitable. He's also going to make um, a slightly a smaller 7th, 8th blades with, a, with a, a, a slight smile in uh, and move away from uh, straight edged razors. I'm not sure if that's going to be on all his razors, but um, I know uh, all of his current productions is all smiley type of razors. I'll confirm and let you guys know. So once again, um, Four days beard, I can feel um, areas not as, as, as clean as, as I like from a, or get from a stiffer blade. And that is just because of a bit of uh, jumping. But once again, it's one pass only. We're going to clean this up in the second pass. Very pleasant, the soap. Right, second pass.
very good very 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 good so this is not just the riser the edge, it's the look of the riser, the performance of the soap. Uh, other than that, um, hopefully I uh, one or two more wolf blades razors to test before he goes to um, Germany. But also I'm trying to maybe help him showcase um, one or two razors before The local blade show here in South Africa, um, Pretoria, Brooklyn, which is going to be the first week in December. So almost likely run the shave on Instagram before then and maybe slightly after um, blade show on YouTube we'll see one thing I haven't done is uh, first of all is welcome all of the subscribers and the people that's commenting and finding the content useful um, I always said in the shower and you know it's the first thing that goes through my mind and when I get in front of the camera it's the last thing I think about so Apologies for that guys, um, without you guys this channel wouldn't exist or have a need. Uh, so that's it, thank you very much. Ergonomics of this riser, very very good, handling excellent. The balance fantastic and like I've said in each and every time I've saved with these razors very well thought out um, masterpieces. Very satisfying, very sh uh, smooth shave. As I say, you can't go wrong with the wolf blades. They are fantastic instruments and uh, moreover beautiful pieces of art. So, you know, functional art. 
What I want to do is quickly wash my face with the rest of the soap that's coming out of the brush. Here we go again. Very subtle, earthy, clean, fresh scent. Plenty of cushion in the soap. Fantastic slickness. The post shave I can feel very very good so we're gonna just let that sit while I clean the brush so once again all around a very enjoyable shave um, wonderful to use uh, quality well thought out razor wonderful soap here on my doorstep made in South Africa let's quickly have a just a close-up of this razor again. So uh, you would see it's got circles, so it's got the circular pattern, the mascus, and then obviously it gets, gets grind out into a very, very thin, thinly grind, um, very beautiful, Razor. So this is the sci-fi razor. Essentially corrosion resistant. The edge retention is going to be phenomenal. Um, fantastic idea, especially if you live in high humidity areas um, where you struggle with carbon and carbon razors. A great alternative. Also, you know, if you somebody that um, hasn't got uh, got owning um, capabilities or services around you, you know, and you want a razor you can use for a couple of years without worrying, you know, just by stropping properly stropping. Um, the wolf blades really um, the razor to get. Moreover, as I said, I think with a pasted strap, um, with this type of steel, you can keep this edge going indefinitely if you don't damage it. Right, so let's uh, clean the face and do my post shave. I'm very particular with my um, with my uh, splashes. I date stamp them, so um, I have got uh, a Louis splash that uh, goes with the soap. But I first want to uh, work through Bloom, which I enjoy. Moreover, I think it's going to accompany this um, scent profile quite nice. Uh, at least for me, and that's all that's important. So with, as with all Nando splashes, it needs to get a good shake. Make sure the witch hazel, well the fra fragrance oils mix together. So a silky, silky smooth shave, two passes, removed three, three and a half days beard, no problem. Uh, Trevor's edge is incredibly smooth. The edge on, on this razor is near impossible to feel. Um, you can just feel there's a sensation going and you can see um, the hairs going and you can hear the feedback. Other than that, um, 
Wonderful to have the opportunity to use this um, razor. We'll do another one when we, we, we get it. Thank you for everybody uh, joining us on this channel. Deliver long and uh, prosper. See you guys in the next one.